I'm honestly not surprised to see all of this happening, but it's still incredibly sad. From the news as of late, Rick and Morty creator Justin Rowland is being faced with multiple accusations. As such, this does affect a lot of the projects that he's behind. But there's one question that a lot of people are asking right now, and that is, what is the physical state of the show Rick and Morty right now? Well, we have all the information, and let me tell you, it's definitely something you're not expecting. What is going on, everybody? My name is Anima TV, better known as Animated, and I want to thank you so much for tuning in to this brand new video. So as we know, the news about Justin Rowland and all the accusations he is facing is definitely something that's very sad. The news about Justin Rowland facing domestic abuse charges broke over the weekend, and fans everywhere were simply shattered. With Rick and Morty being a very popular show, it's no wonder why the fact that fans are very distraught to hear this news. And with Justin Rowland being the voice behind these two popular characters, it's no wonder to the fact that fans everywhere are simply wondering what is going to happen with the show for the future. With so many seasons under Adult Swim's belt, it's going to be a sad time to see where this show is going to go. Not to mention Solar Opposites over on Hulu is also a show that Justin Rowland was working on. But the one question remains, with all these shows currently being out, what's going to happen to them? Well, we have official confirmation about that now. Earlier today, we received an official statement from Adult Swim themselves. In this statement, it officially says, Adult Swim has ended its association with Justin Rowland. Rick and Morty will continue. The talented and dedicated crew are hard at work on season seven. With this, the following news is also that Rowland's voice roles, including that of Rick and Morty, will be recast, and Dan Harmon is now the only showrunner. Rick and Morty will continue without his involvement until at least season 10. But but that isn't exactly all of it. We also have a statement from Squanch Games where Justin Rowland was also in charge of. In the official statement from Squanch Games, it says, on January 16th, 2023, Squanch Games received Justin Rowland's resignation. The passionate team at Squanch will keep developing games we know our fans will love while continuing to support and improve High on Life, which is the game that Justin Rowland does many voices in. Now, as a Rick and Morty fan, with all this news coming out, it's definitely upsetting to me personally. Like there were a lot of rumors over the years that this stuff was actually actually happening and the fact that now it's officially out in the open is just simply distraughting me like I just I don't know how to feel about this it just makes me sad while several companies have already made their own personal statements nothing has really been said about the show solar opposites over on Hulu but we can definitely expect to hear news about that in the coming future whoa hold on let me jump in real quick upon editing this video it has been now officially confirmed that Justin Rowland has been fired from solar opposites and his other show koala man following the Rick and Morty exit I just figured I'd put this in here anyway just in case people were to say something in the comments after I posted this today. Anyways, enjoy the video. It truly is upsetting when a creator is involved with a lot of accusations as well as scandals. But coming from someone who personally has loved watching Rick and Morty all these years, it definitely hurts a little more. Rick and Morty was simply a staple over on Adult Swim, but to see that they're trying to continue with at least up to 10 seasons is a little bit decent. However, getting used to the fact that both Rick and Morty will have a different voice actor behind them is definitely something that's gonna be a little weird to start off, no doubt. Now, in my own personal opinion, and this is really gonna hurt me a little bit, with this, I almost feel like that they should just cancel the show and just leave it where it's at. Now, granted, that's not something I want considering the fact that they're at a really good place and I really need to see how this show's gonna end. But without their so many years of a guy voicing these iconic characters and now these allegations are sprouting about it's definitely going to affect the viewership of this show a lot and of course when the new voice actors come in whoever they hired it's definitely going to change that viewership no doubt and i also hate to say it but there's probably going to be more news coming out about this stuff in the near future too while domestic abuse accusations are definitely a bad thing there's probably a lot of other stuff that we don't know about yet and with justin Rowland being involved with a lot more projects besides rick and morty i can almost guarantee that a lot of projects will be affected by this for sure. Some may even cancel that that fact. And while a lot of fans may consider as being the end of the Rick and Morty show, I still have a little bit of hope in my heart to see this show end successfully and not get canceled. But for right now, we won't exactly know. Honestly, I really hope that it doesn't greatly affect a lot of projects that I love right now. But in all honesty, I definitely hope to see some justice come out of this sooner or later. It is indeed a sad day. But guys, let me know your thoughts. Are you currently aware of the news around Justin Rowland? Out of all the projects that he's worked on, what is one of your favorite ones? And do you think that Rick and Morty should stay canceled for right now after season seven? Or do you think that they should continue on until season 10? Let me know in the comments below. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to wrap up this video for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new for more cartoons and reviews coming to you real soon. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this video for today. Once again, my name is Anima TD, better known as Animated. And I hope that you go ahead and tune in next time.